the most bizarre ways of fortune telling. Paw mystery. If for some reason you have a craving to know the future of the family cat, look no further than this fortune telling method. Paw mystery reportedly started after a palm reading of a cat at a psychic party. This rather bizarre way of fortune telling makes use of the lines and shapes of the cat's paw and supposedly also reveals information about the family pet's background and history. No doubt many people laugh at this form of fortune telling. After all, it's pretty easy to predict that our furry friends will have a future full of sleeping, eating, and destroying the family couch. A Asparamancy Have you ever wished you could tell the future using only asparagus? English mystic Jemima Packington might have just the answers for you. While most fortune tellers use tea leaves, Packington uses stalks of asparagus to predict major events and personal futures. How does she do it? Just throw a handful of the tasty vegetables into the air and watch where they land. The resulting shapes give hints to the future. The financial crisis, royal births, and sporting results have reportedly all been predicted using this very bizarre method of fortune telling. Paul the Octopus Animals often play a role in various fortune-telling techniques, but an octopus? The eight tentacle creatures have been at the center of fantasy and folklore for centuries, but it is only recently that their powers of prediction have been harnessed by humans. The most famous fortune-telling octopus was Paul, an octopus that resided in a marine theme park in Germany. For the Euro 2008 and World Cup 2010 football competitions, Paul would predict the winning team by selecting one of two flag-covered boxes filled with mussels. For the World Cup, Paul correctly identified 11 out of the 13 results for the German team and even predicted the outcome of the final. Stickomancy. If what you're looking for is a quick way to do some fortune telling, then look no further than stickomancy. This method involves using books to predict the future. It actually has its origins in Biblomancy, where one uses lines from the Bible to predict the future. How does it work? Just grab a random book off the shelf, open it to any page, and read a few lines. What you read is linked to your future. Let's just hope you don't happen to pull a book about the Black Plague or natural disasters. Using your own poop. Apparently your poop can say a lot about you. Yes, this is actually a method which has been used to predict people's futures. For hundreds of years, scatomancy has been a part of the world of fortune telling. This messy, smelly, and rather disgusting method involves analyzing such things as the shape, smell, and texture of waste in order to look into the future. Electriomancy. As far back as the Roman Empire, people believed that chickens had magical powers. In order to harness the mystical powers of these feathered creatures, people would place chicken among several piles of grain. Each pile would be associated with a specific letter of the alphabet. As the chicken went about eating from the grain, the corresponding letters would be used to spell out words. Of course, all of this was only done after the chicken had been fed its own claws, which had been wrapped in lambskin. Spatalomancy. If you have pets, or maybe just some wild animals that hang around on your property, spatalomancy may be just for you. This method of fortune telling involves marking out a grid of nine squares in your yard and assigning a question to each. Then you release the animals and just sit back and wait for your fortune to be told. Wherever the animals relieve themselves and what their waste looks like provides the answer to the corresponding questions. Those who practice this form of fortune telling are sure to pay close attention to the odor, contents, and consistency of the animal feces, because to not do so would just be silly. Look to the cheese. Dating from medieval times, people would have their fortunes told by using little more than some old cheese. Known as tyromancy, one would interpret the omens found in the cheese to learn about the past, present, and future. In addition to the holes and shapes found within the cheese, mold was used as a significant indicator for fortune tellers. People would write potential answers to questions on various chunks of cheese. Final answers were discovered by what pieces grew the mold the fastest. Gastromancy the next time your stomach starts growling, pay attention because it may be trying to tell you your future. Yes, that's right. Stomach noises are a part of the fortune-telling branch known as gastromancy. While you may think that bean burrito is to blame for your growling tummy, ancient Greeks believed those were actually voices inside you which can be used to predict the future. In addition to the sounds, the lines and bumps around your stomach can be used to predict what your future has in store. So the next time your significant other yells at you for waking them up with a growling tummy, just remind them that you're busy telling the future. 
Rumpology. As you can probably guess by its name, Rumpology is the method of fortune telling which uses your backside. Rumpology, or butt reading, uses things such as the size and shape of your butt to predict future events and success. The practice reportedly dates back thousands of years to a period when people put dye on their behinds to leave an imprint on papyrus paper. It's enough to make you wonder whether the people at the office party who photocopy their butts are behaving badly, or just undertaking the ancient fortune-telling practice of rumpology.